Um, Shane, we'll start with you then. I mean, what a year it's been, first of all. Just just tell us sort of the, the roller coaster ride that you've been on. Well, it has been a roller coaster ride. They are. They came in school in September, obviously year seven. So it's the first time I've seen them play. Um, very strong rugby union side, and they've all come in in good ability for rugby. And then we were invited to a uh, rugby league tournament back in October, and uh, our rugby union sort of season finished in schools um, for the winter break of the light. So we went along uh, to give these boys, you know, another opportunity. Um, and we did not know at that time what it was going to lead on to, uh, because the tournament itself, these boys went in, you know, asking lots of questions, didn't have a clue really what they were doing, um, and we sort of somehow got through each round, um, won on sort of a golden point in the final, and uh, that's led us now coming up to Wembley on Saturday. Let's have a chat with uh, Rory and Toby as well. You obviously know what Wembley is. I'm sure you know you've seen football sides play. Did you have you heard of the Challenge Cup before? No, I've not heard of the Challenge Cup. But um, I thought it was just football people playing in Wembley. But when I've heard about the tournament, we had the chance to play in there. It was really pushed to um, try harder at rugby and get into rugby league. And Toby, how do you feel about the fact that you're going to be out there playing on Saturday? Well, I think it's going to be really good, but it's going to be scary because they're going to be like. 50,000 people watching us at the last part of the game. Or a few more than you usually get for your normal games, I guess. <laughs> Probably about 200 <laughs> at the most ever at that. Or was it Surrey final? And that was a lot for us. How have you taken to the game of rugby league as well? Because it's the first year you've played it. You've played rugby union before, but I mean, have you enjoyed what you've done this year? Oh, yeah, it's been really good. Um, it's just another opportunity to play rugby, which is always a good thing. And I've actually liked the sport because um, it's the same basics of rugby union. It's just a bit more full on, which is quite fun. And how do you feel about Saturday? Can can you do it? Can you beat this side that have been, you know, they've got lads that have been playing rugby league for years and years? Yeah, of course you can, because rugby's rugby, and we all know the basics. Just learning the details of rugby league, isn't it? So uh, I think we've got it. Well, good luck. Hope it goes well. Let's have a chat with Andy Gilvaro from the RFL. Uh, Andy. Just to put into sort of like words what exactly this achievement is, it's a national competition. They've been playing their first year of rugby league and they're going to be playing at Wembley. Well, it's never been done before in our region, you know. Since 2003, we've had 1,500 teams come through and try and get to Wembley and try and get to that coveted national final. And these boys, 12 months ago, picked up a rugby league ball, decided that's what they wanted to do. And here we are, three days away from history and hopefully a win. Bring something back to the region for the first time ever. Because numerous schools, I mean increasing number of schools are playing rugby league down here as well, but none have ever got to a final before and this is just that the year seven one is played at Wembley ahead of the final. It's an awesome story. Well we had a year eight team at, from Brentwood in 2010 who made it to the final, but obviously everybody wants to get to Wembley and that's the reason that a lot of schools and a lot of teams will get involved because of the opportunities rugby league can present and I think that this year could be our year and especially with what Shane's done with the boys and they're a great set of kids I'm sure they've got the attitude and definitely got the skill to make something happen on Saturday and just quickly back to you then Shane I mean why did you decide to introduce rugby league to these guys in year seven well it's mainly I think these boys deserved it we played the rugby union and their attitude was fantastic and the ability was so good that I didn't want them to stop over the winter months so when the rugby league opportunity came up that um you know we had a tournament during the day um, and a few schools would uh come out during the school day in like you know daylight to play it just gave these boys that opportunity I think they deserved it and obviously the results you know have proved you know sort of uh, that they, they did deserve it. they've worked hard and uh, I'll never forget the semi-final um, when we played up against the school from St Helens and obviously it was up at Leeds where all the semi-finals were played and it's so obviously that's the main sort of rugby league area so when our boys are uh, turned up we went 10 nil down by half time um, their, our supporters, our parents, but they're still asking what the rules were and things, <laughs> and their their parents were sort of almost mocking us, sort of going back down to the south and play rugby union. Forget this game; it's too hard; it's too strong for you. Uh, but these boys then to come out second half and put 20 points to nothing on them to win 2010. Uh, suddenly, you know that's when we realised, you know that hey, you know we are good enough. And then one of the uh, dads from the opposition came over and said. I don't know what the world's coming to and we get beaten by our own game in our own backyard by a bunch of southerners <laughs> that's when we all sort of realise that well you know on something you know something new here something big so hopefully 
one game away. You know, the boys have done everything, everything they can. Uh, the help from the London RFL, uh, London Broncos and Elmbridge Eagles Rugby Club and obviously all the specta uh, all the, uh, the parents. But, you know, these boys have, have worked really, really hard and uh, let's hope they do themselves justice on Saturday. Absolutely, best of luck with it. And this is probably the stupidest question I could ask you, but I guess this isn't the end. You're not going to stop playing rugby league now. This is surely only the beginning. This is the beginning, yes. we've um, After these boys have inspired so many in the school, um, from staff and the students and parents, we're now uh, entering all the age groups for rugby league next year. And I've also put it on the curriculum. So for the first time ever, wow. every student in the school, 1,600 will play in rugby league. That's boys and girls. Um, you know, to to give them six weeks and if they like it we've got clubs just down the road that they can join and hopefully you know it's a start of something big.